Hello, hello, hello. This is Sana Dinzari. My name is Sasha, and today I'm standing behind the curtain. So sorry if there is some movement. There is my cat. So uh, today I'm gonna talk about three things. First, it's my own project, what will be released super soon. Uh, secondly, it's the my perfect formula of relationships, maybe. Like, it's kind of work. The third one is about the plans. Uh, there we have, with Nato, we have really a lot of plans and we're working a lot on our things. So, stay with us. Yes. So, first it's about my own project. It calls love. Um, it's super precious topic to me. And yeah, I'm, I'm getting kind of emotional when I'm, I'm talking about it because it was just pure inspiration and and really this combination of everything it's actually what I found what I would like to do not on the monthly basis but often as much as I can because there is a lot of things and efforts to put inside and the hardest part is to find the perfect color of everything. If the song doesn't trigger some sensations, I mean sensations like when you can't touch the music or you can't really put your brain in some some color understanding meditative condition, it's well it's it's not this. It's more like when I'm listening to the music or reading the book or thinking about something I'm thinking about them the, the, so when I'm seeing the person I just have feeling or maybe vision I, I don't know how it goes but really this project it's combination of everything it's combination of how I see things because I try to put it I, I try to keep it as natural as possible uh, without any kind of effects. So yeah, so this project is the is really really precious to me, and I'm I'm really excited to publish it because maybe it's finally I found what I would like to do. Now not even maybe it's the a lot of emotional context in with this project so i'm really looking forward to the friday and to publish it so secondly it's about the it's about my perfect formula relationship it's really really interesting topic because i didn't know how to talk about it i'm not a psychologist i'm i don't have a degree i don't have a lot of experience in it it's the 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 only my con conclusions it's what i had in life what i went through life so basically just an experience i would say understand uh why what makes you disappointed like in in doesn't matter what in your dancing in your relationship with your family with your, your parents with your relative like with your boyfriend girlfriend child anything what actually makes you to be sad and anxious because every person we have our own unique universe really perfect formula as for me it's not when you throw in the problems and concerns and something into the face of, of the other person it's first you saying okay I don't like this and that and and first of all you're trying to understand why it triggers you personally why why you don't like why it comes why it irritates you so much just why why it doesn't irritate the other people and why it irritates you or vice versa <laughs> why it doesn't why it it's it's irritates everyone it doesn't irritate you you know so it's always need to come from you well loving yourself it's going to be the part of this concept it being truly truly yourself and understand yourselves that 
we are not perfect we all have super hard characters there's a lot of things and people they're super interesting in this point so yeah this perfect formula and um, what I was thinking recently mm, it's the ask yourself more about things ask yourself why this or that doesn't work for you or why it works for you and just try to explain people that why you don't like this and that things you don't like and why why it triggers and and do not blame this person first and don't blame yourself just ask asking and blaming is different things because i know i know that it's hard that you just like Sometimes you're just reacting on some events like you're like, oh my god, that's such a problem, such a problem, oh my god. But the 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 stuff is that it's it's standing on in, in protection saying, Yes, I know, I know, I know I have a super hard temper, it's super hard to deal with, and I'm just like that, you just need to get used to it. Mm, no. No. Ask yourself why you trigger why it triggers you so much what kind of problems you had with something and yeah and it will be much much easier after like to be honest i fixed a lot of things uh, being in ukraine really i fixed a lot of things during that a lot of things but i couldn't fix for the last 10 how, how old am i i don't know last last many many years and, and it feels super nice. It feels like you're just releasing yourself. So yeah. And the last topic what I wanted to talk about it's about our plans. So we have a lot. Like first of course, of course we still we continue dancing. We continue dancing. Uh, BTS choreos. We have still a lot things to do. Of course, while I was in Ukraine with Nato, we recorded a lot of choreos together. We tried to be as productive as possible. Uh, like, if it would be possible, we would just leave in the in the dance place and the, our rent training. Sesepado Saldushin. It's like training place there. I don't know. We, we uh, really, if it if it would be possible, we would just leave there six hours, ten hours. Uh, perfect just give us food and and, and some donations <laughs> we would just live there um, of course we want to uh, switch like uh, I would like to continue with my projects when I will be more inspired I would like to continue with blogs and more like common blogs with subtitles because she still can't speak English but it will be fixable I hope in the, in the near future and uh, we want to continue with the original choreos from different platforms of course because it's still developing ourselves as a dancer trying different things and the new stuff what we tried i always wanted to to sing 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 i actually studied in a musical school for three years uh, but after I quit uh, because of some misfortunes in, in the life and I was too small to make uh, like normal right decisions I would say uh, so I quit and there was a lot of um, someone said something I got pissed and after that I had a big com complex um, um, I couldn't I couldn't start I was uh, so um, maybe uncomfortable to think anymore in front of I, I don't really remember what happened because I was really small like 11 or 12 years old in this sensitive age when someone is just making the joke about your voice for example like come on 12 years old someone making the joke and you just taking it so personally so uh, it take for me 10 years to uh, finally understand that it was just the joke well of course we're not perfect and some people can react on that that you are not perfect they have their own world and they can just live with this world but this you this is your mistake so why why not i can understand long i can say it now but back then i couldn't and uh, so i 
it's not like I quit singing. I, I still sang a lot when I was alone, of course, when I was in the bathroom, in my room, when I was waiting, when everyone is leaving the house. And so, oh, oh, I, I pointed my Mr. Cactus sister. My sister put the letter cactus is here. Uh, so, yeah. But now I finally, finally going through the, a lot of self changes. I decided to go to the um, to the vocal teacher, take the lessons, and finally I'm I'm having all my techniques back, little by little. Uh, so Nata, she she bought the jamba, jamba. I hope she won't kill me that I'm saying it right. Yeah, jamba or darbuka. Darbuka and jamba. Well, we thought it was darbuka first, but in the end it was jamba. <laughs> Stuff happens. And um, yeah, she's she always wanted. She she like drums. She likes tradition. Yeah. So we have some small sessions together. When I'm trying to get used to song, she's trying to get used to her uh, drums. Sorry, sorry, it's not drums. I know. <laughs> it's like me. And yeah, we want to record some covers, of course, on the BTS first, and after that we will see. Uh, basically, I have ukulele at home in, in, in Paris, and I have the stock of the songs what I would like to make. Um, unfortunately, I still can't sing and play normally, so I think maybe at first, at first it will be recorded like separately. Or it will be just with the with the karaoke. Like I, I still don't know, but uh, we wanna try to sing and play and record the covers also from this side. Um, yeah. So that's that's actually what I was saying about this channel many many times. Like we don't wanna stuck only on the covers, only on the choreos. We just wanna try to do a lot of things. So stay with us, and it will be funny <laughs> i hope it will be funny and great so stay with us um if you have something to add or if you have some ideas what we can try we always open to something new so I'll leave the comment and we will see what we can do thank you bye